Yo, what's up? This your boy Derek Brescia of uh, Sports Talk 365.com. Today I just want to um, recap the uh, New Orleans Pelicans um, opening 2020-2021 um, season debut against the uh, Toronto Raptors um, game. They came from behind in the late in the second half of the game to defeat them by a score of 113-99. to 99. Um, Impressive ball game. Um, I like the effort from the team. I like what I'm seeing uh, from the um, the ball club. I got the stats in front of me right now. Um, it was a combined effort, team effort to get this victory. Um, Brandon Ingram led the team with uh, 24 points, followed by uh, Eric Bledsoe, the new addition, 18. Alonzo Ball had chipped in with 16. Zion has 15 points. And Drew, uh, JJ ready to come off the bench with 23 points. I like that. I like the fact that uh, other players are getting involved with this offense. I like that when it's a um, when it's not just one player scoring, one or two players scoring the majority of the points, and everybody else is just you know sitting around getting their buckets here and here and there, but not really contributing to the, the, the team. I like that everybody's getting involved. Um, I think it's just a, a good win for the team. Impressive outing. Against a, um, a formidable opponent, in my opinion, the uh, Toronto Raptors, a team that uh, won the championship two years ago. It had a pretty good squad last year. Uh, fell a little short in the uh, second round of the playoffs last season. But um, it's a good game. Um, I like this effort from the team. Um, Zion Williamson uh, had uh, led the team with uh, 10 rebounds, followed by uh, Steven Adams. He also had, Abs also had uh, eight points in the game. That ain't bad, you know, um, takes what you give him. Um I like the effort. Um I like the new um uh, the new uh, head coach, Stan Van Gundy's uh, opening uh, opening up with a victory against uh the Toronto Raptors. And um I like to see this going forward. I like to see the the um the ball move around like this, like they did against um Toronto. Now games like this usually it was like a season ago, a game they probably lost this game a long time ago. They lost it probably in the, in the opening, lost his lead. They wouldn't have probably kept up, um, turned the ball over. They still got to you know work on that, but it was it's better than before, better than what I seen last year with this team. Um, but it's just I'm not not trying to overreact because it's only one game and this team is still a little young. Um, got but the but the thing is from compared from this year. To last year, we got some veterans in there. I like Eric Bliss, so I like that move. Um, I like uh, the fact that we have uh, Steven, Steven Adams now. I like we got the fact that we have um, still got J.J. Reddick, you know. Um, I like the, the fact that we have a mix of veterans on the team combined with some young talent that can show this team the ropes, show this team how to endure doing tough times on the road or at home or whatever the team's going through or, um, some adversity that's somebody to lean on somebody that, that we can they can talk to somebody that has the experience of knowing what it's like to be in these situations and and you got guy you got guys like um Eric Blesso, Steven Adams, um JJ Reddick, guys that have deep playoff experience in previous uh, ball clubs that's going to help this team out <laughs> It's gonna help uh, Stan, Stan Van Gundy out as he uh, continues to develop his team. I'm looking forward to seeing what this team is gonna do um, throughout the year. I'll be uh, writing articles on this, um, recaps, doing vlogs um, after games or the day after the game. So it'll be a combination of both. And I'm just looking forward to seeing what this team has to um, has to um, can do in the future. You know, it's a good victory, open up against a um, a quality opponent. Uh, one of the best teams uh, that's projected to be, to be one of the, the best teams in the uh, Eastern uh, Conference, and it's, it looks good. It looks good so far. You know, um, guys chipped in with points. Um, Eric Bledsoe so is going to be a, a big. Um, it's going to be a key cog in his uh, team this year. Key contributor. I can see it right now. You know, um, he had uh, 18 points, um, six assists. Um, you know, six assists, two rebounds. Um, but then another thing I like is that uh, the assist from uh, Brandon Ingram. He had nine assists. He had uh, 11 assists, nine rebounds, 24 points. Zion Williamson, he chipped in, you know, with 10 rebounds, uh, three assists. You know, I like that. 
I like to see that the ball move around, you know what I'm saying? Not just having it, you know, focal, the focal point on two players, you know, but the support class, you know, kind of standing in the background. But I like what I'm seeing. I'm looking forward to uh, the game between uh, Toronto, not Toronto, they play uh, the Miami Heat on Christmas Day. It'll be another um, test for this team, a, a measuring stick to see how far they've grown, to see, I know it's still early the season, but it'll show what this team is there has and there's been any, any improvements from last year compared to this season. You know, I'm not snide overreact, you know, and <laughs> crown of champions just yet. Oh, what's the conference champions just yet? I think um you know got people talking about them being a, a playing team. I think this team could be a six seed, a top six seed in the West, man. Six to seven seed in the West. Six yeah, six seed in the West, man. Possibly a fifth, man. I think they could be that good. If they, if they, um I did follow through the game plan. But um, that's all I got for you for right now. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. Up at this loss, do you feel optimistic about the Pelicans' chances of uh, making the playoffs after this one, this first game of the season? Do you still have any uh, some concerns about uh, the team going forward? And if you'd like to uh, watch any um, other uh, Pelicans content on this channel, check out the uh, Pelicans Talk playlist. In the description box below, check out uh, sportstalk365.com forward slash pelicans for latest content on the Wands Pelicans organization. That's all I got for you for right now. Subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed day. Peace.